I just pick one of these? Let's pick that one. And then what I can do is create a rental contract. Right click um, and then transaction. Select a transaction. And then because we place the requisition in the online cart system, everything's pre-populated. I don't have to double tap entry anything. You can see all the information is pre-populated. So all, all I'd need to do on that is just check the rates. And again, you know, the rates can pull in. You can have specific rate sheets and rate cards for specific projects or clients. So this same excavator could be a different price on a different project. Um, you've got lots of different features and tools that you can use. I can do an e-code allocate from within the contract as well. So again, I can look up my assets. I can see what's available. I can see the age of the asset, how much it cost us, what its net book value is, um, its date it, it became available or is, or is becoming available uh, based on estimated off rent dates. So I can make decisions from actually within the contracts on uh, what's going to be the most suitable. So if this is a um, high profile site and one of your best clients, then I'm going to give them the best asset that's the, the newest. So I'm going to find out what what the newest asset is and I'm going to give them that one. Um, less chance of it breaking down, looks nicer on site. Um, so again, you know, you're making all of those decisions on the fly. So again, um, everything's just available from within one click. Once you've completed your order, added your rates, added your transport charges on, you, you commit it, save it into the system. And then all you need to do from there is go from that tab to that tab and then you're into transport planning.